Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. We're going to be doing epoxy, of course, but it's a piece of glass. And uh, I've done them before. I had a customer ask me if I could do it for them. And I said, sure, I can do it. There, you just got to take certain steps to do it right and make sure it don't peel off or make sure it adheres to the glass real good. Let me let you look at it real quick. You can see it's... 24 inches wide by 40 and a half inches long. It's going to be a dirty pour. I've already took uh, 80 grit paper, sandpaper on my orbital sander. And let me see if you can see it. I don't know if you can see this or not. Yeah, you can see them scuff marks that I left with the sandpaper right there. That's a must. You got to have something. You got to be able to scratch this glass just a little bit in order for your epoxy to stick to it. Now, I am going to be putting spray paint on this. I'm going to be putting a base color with spray paint. So, let me get this camera up on the tripod and we'll get to pouring this. Okay, guys. The base color is going to be uh, gray, smoke gray with a little bit of uh, black. You guys hear a noise in the background it's my air conditioner let me turn it down some it's mighty hot in here i have to have it on now you can epoxy straight over spray paint i don't know if you guys know that or not but you can go right over top of wet spray paint it doesn't off gas like a latex paint or a uh house paint like that it doesn't off gas like that which is a good thing you guys are getting any value out of what i'm doing here please give it a like thumbs up drop me a comment let me know what you think of it and uh share it on your social media i would appreciate it that helps the channel Okay, I didn't have to get it all nice and thick and coated like that. I just, that's, I'm just anal when it comes to stuff like that. And I'm going to fog some black all over it. I might fog one or two more colors. I'm unsure yet. You ain't got to be perfect with it. You know, just get it on there. It ain't got to be even or anything like that. But it's going to be a dirty pour. So let me get a few of these colors on here real quick. Just to, to be have some undertone. I just want a little bit of undertone. That was Gloss Seaside. This is Gloss Deep blue okay this one's going to be gloss navy blue okay and let's put some satin lagoon I haven't got no gloss lagoon. I don't believe so. Let me make sure. No, I don't see none. That's okay. You can use satin. Just don't use flat. Flat's not something you want to use. It doesn't do very well with epoxy for some reason. I got a clock video coming out. I had some lady, she wanted me to make her a clock. So I made it. I got to get it edited. Let me put a little more black over top of that. You know what I might hit that with? Should I put a little white on it? Oh, I don't like the way that does that. I'm already committed now. Let me go ahead and just finish it. Okay, I'll leave that alone. Okay, now let me get my epoxy out and get my cups what i'm gonna mix it in i'll be right back with you all right guys i have my cups set up i'm gonna go ahead and put my powders in them the first one's going to be uh, turquoise 
the next one's going to be sky blue the one after that is going to be peacock blue I will be selling these colors some of them on my website just as soon as I can get it up and running the fourth blue is cobalt blue I love this color it's a beautiful color look at that Wow the fifth blue in powder form is going to be Pacific blues this is real the other colors I I've got powder form is a uh, bright silver I'm gonna be using that as well the other three colors I gotta wait to put it in when I can get when I can get my epoxy put in here so let me get my epoxy and get some mixed up you can, let's see yeah you can see a little bit let me get these three cups out of the way for just a minute until I can get this mixed up anyway we're gonna be using wise bond epoxy there's a description i mean a link in the description below where you guys if you use that link go through that link and use it and you buy anything off their website use my discount code that i provided which is kellogg 10 you'll get 10 percent off your total price which is not a bad deal okay let's see how much do i want to use all right on this you want to put your uh hardener in first and the reason is your hardener is thinner it'll level out in your mixing container quicker than the uh, resin will and it does stick to the sides like the resin does so let's start with a hardener okay there's my hardener now for the resin you pour your resin into your hardener it'll go straight through the hardener and sink straight to the bottom the lighter material will stay on top and it'll be flat where your resin see how thick it is it could take a minute to level out you don't want that whenever you're trying to get accurate measurement okay you want to mix this for about oh three minutes all right guys sorry about that my battery went dead i had to change my battery and my camera real quick anyway you want to mix your epoxy for about three minutes i forgot to mention if you're going i mean when you're mixing this with a paddle and a drill make sure you hold on to your container because that epoxy is thick and it will grab that mixing paddle and grab a hold of your mixing container as well spin around and swing epoxy everywhere and it makes a mess it really does you don't want that to happen trust me i'm gonna now you want to mix it again with your drill for about 20 30 40 seconds somewhere in that area okay now you want to pour your clear epoxy into each one of your containers that has your color in it Now when you mix these up, you're going to want to pour them back into your original mixing container. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let me get them mixed up real quick. Okay, the trick to getting spray paint in a container without it going everywhere. Take your paint stick, and you stick it in there, put your paint can right up against your paint stick, and spread a little bit of mist will come out the cup but 99% of it's going to go down to the epoxy that way you don't splatter it everywhere don't get everywhere therefore it doesn't ruin anything again put your paint can right up against your stick the nozzle and spray it on the stick it'll run straight down into the epoxy and won't splatter everywhere I've had numerous people tell me oh it just splatters everywhere when I do that well, if you do it this way, it won't. I promise you. Now, let's use the uh, deep blue. Now, mix these up really good. Okay. Now, you want to take your colors... And just a little bit at the time. Can you guys see what I'm doing over here? Just want to pour a little bit in there. 
set that one down go to the next one pour a little in go to your next one pour a little in and so on you see, you see the pattern I'm doing it well it's not a pattern you don't want to do them exactly the same combination every time you want to switch it up and don't pour them in the same spot in the cup just do it randomly the more random you do it the better it's gonna look and when you get them in this mixing container you don't want to mix what's in this here that's a no-no it won't be no dirty pour then it'll be what they call a messed up pour you just want to pour it all back in there until you get them all back in there now I'm just gonna use a little bit of my bright silver for right now I mean I'm gonna use it but I'm just gonna use it a little bit right now okay now it's when we're gonna start switching them up just do it random it doesn't matter which one just do it randomly this is why they call it a dirty pour you just got colors everywhere going every direction you might think oh my god this is gonna look terrible it's gonna look horrible you just wait and see it's gonna look fabulous now when you go to pop your bubbles you do not want to use a torch on a piece of glass you will bust it you want to use a heat gun and still you don't want to hold it in one spot very long let me get these out of the way real quick take some more bright silver okay here we go now when you do a dirty pour you do not want to mix this container up at all usually I'll start on the sides on this one I'm going to start right in the middle you want to start off of your project and just pour slowly go off of your project come back on your project off on Okay, now, where's my brush? Take your brush. You're going to have some spillage. Take that spillage, scoop it up, and put it along the edge. In order to make this flow a lot better, you could uh, take and put a wash coat on your uh, surface before you do your dirty pour. That would make this epoxy flow a lot better. But for some reason, I don't know if it's because of money or whatever, they didn't want me to do it because they thought it was going to cost extra money. I told them I wouldn't, and they just said no. So I didn't do it. All you got to do, make sure you get everything coated really well, especially the little small edges. I just want to pull this down like that a little bit so I can get this epoxy to flow for me. Pull it down a little bit like that. Heat gun is what's going to make this thing look superb. Okay. Now, let me, uh, let's see. I right, fire your heat gun up away from your project so you don't blow no dust on it. I want to go through here and bust some of these air bubbles before I do anything. I don't know if you guys can see that air being popped on camera or not. 
Wish I had four hands so I could hold a camera. I'll show you guys this all at the same time. I just wanted to do this so I'm make a video of this being poured on a piece of glass because there's a lot of people that swears you cannot pour epoxy like this on glass. This is not the first time I've done it and I've never had a complaint yet. Not saying that I will never have a complaint, I just haven't had one yet. The first one I've done has been about five years ago now. matter of fact I've done a table for them I've done their uh, shower stalls in both bathrooms they're still completely happy with everything I've done for them they wanted blue boy they got blue it's pretty I'll tell you that we'll bust these remaining air bubbles and then we'll get the camera down and get a closer look at it like I said you don't want to put no torch on this to pop bubbles or move your colors around because the torch is way too hot it will bust the glass and then you will be out a job all right guys let me know what you think about this pretty thing in the comments below I really would appreciate it ouch that's hot down there See if I can get you some close-ups of it. Nah, it's not going to focus very good. It's definitely blue. I like this blue vein right here. That sure is pretty. get you an overall that's it right there that sucker sure is pretty I think it is anyway please let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below tell me what you would have done different if anything turn this camera around all right guys let me know what you think about that in the comments below please let me know what you would have done if anything different uh like i said if you're going to be doing this or you want to try this on a piece of glass make sure you clean it really well and get you some a i used 80 grit sandpaper on my five inch orbital sander i scuffed that laid it on a flat surface scuffed it up really good with that 80 grit sandpaper and then i just spray painted my uh, base colors on there and uh you've seen the rest i mean i think it turned out fabulous this is not the first time i've done this i will be showing you how to get the drips off if you don't want to sit here and babysit it and steady scraping the drips off the bottom i ain't got the patience for that i just take and let them cure and i do my thing and i get them off just like that they come off quick easy i don't tape it i don't do any of that i don't waste time doing that but uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments below uh if i give me a thumbs up if i've earned it uh, please share it on all your social media like i said if you're interested in any of the colors or the epoxy that i used doing this you can go to uh, the wise bond link down in the description in the description there's also a uh, 10 percent off discount code down there as well with that link so anything you guys buy on on that website through that link use that code you get 10 percent off it's kellogg 10 k-e-l-l-o-g-g-1-0 -G i appreciate you guys watching i uh, really do appreciate the subscribers i have you guys have no idea how important you are to me uh, that's what makes or breaks the youtube channel is you guys every one of you is what makes or breaks any youtube channel don't let nobody tell you any different 
please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it yet get yourself subscribed because i got some good videos coming up i really do i thank you guys for watching i really do i love you guys peace